Welcome back, everyone, to Nintendo Power Block and our breakdown of each game here on the E3 Showcase uh, 2018 for Nintendo. Corey and Ed here. Uh, we are going to talk about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Uh, Ed, I have a lot of thoughts on this game. And the more I think about it, the more excited I get. Except I'm still a little bit confused about this. But, uh, uh, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch, you're seeing the uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee trailer that they initially released for the reveal uh, last week. Uh, two weeks ago? I don't know. Sometime a while ago. Yeah. Uh, you're watching that right now because I couldn't find what was in the E3 thing. But... Uh, mostly because I think they're doing it for Treehouse. They they played a significant chunk in Treehouse, which is what I really want to talk yes. about. Uh, I'm going to start because I have a lot of good thoughts on this game. Okay. As you know, Ed, I'm about to become a father. I don't have a lot of time to dive into a full-on Pokemon game, right? Yes. So, man, this energy drink. i gotta, I got to stop drinking those. <laughs> they just make me all kinds of gassy everywhere. Uh, this game, I think, is really interesting for someone like me who hasn't played Pokemon in a while, but has always been interested in getting back into Pokemon. And, you know, I've said this on Power Block a lot recently, but, like, I really think that this is the game that's going to draw me back in. And, like, they explained how leveling up works today. They explained how uh, trainer battles and gyms are going to work today, which was good. You know, trainer battles and gyms are going to work like pretty much like proper Pokemon games. There is yes. a, there is a traditional battle screen. There is a traditional move set for your Pokemon. Uh, but the way they describe leveling up, and I was a little bit confused at first, but then I went, they went back and kind of explained it. To level up your Pokemon, all of your Pokemon gain gain experience. It's it, it's pretty much uh, automatic experience share from previous Pokemon games. But when you catch a Pokemon, you gain experience for the rest of your party. Yes. And then uh, you can, like, there's a mechanic in Pokemon Go where if you catch multiple uh, ones, you can, like, it's almost like Destiny Infusing where, like, you can, in, like, do something to this Pokemon to get candy for your new Pokemon, for the previous Pokemon, right? Uh-huh. And so, like, that's how leveling works in the game, and I think that's a really smart idea especially for people who have been playing uh, Pokemon Go for a long time and know that mechanic. This is just an easier transition for them as well. Uh, and that kind of gets me excited because, like, sometimes battling can be frustrating. Like, getting the right team together is frustrating. Uh, but I still I still think, like, the battling and stuff is cool. So uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts on this? I'm, I'm actually really excited for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, I'm I'm excited for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, I don't play Pokemon Go. Excuse me. And so, this would this one would be kind of in my you know my first play into this world. Um, I think it's fitting for Switch. Uh, mm-hmm. and I'm not. I want to see how. You know, collecting and doing battles and stuff, and hopefully get some ideas of what I can expect for a f- well traditional or the next actual main Pokemon game. Uh, I think I'm going to be playing this a lot, uh-huh. and I know for me it's going to be like, okay, let me make sure that I got all my boxes checked, um, that I got all that Pokemon from that region. You know, I, it's it's going to be pouring a lot of hours. <laughs> of my time, of my downtime, when I'm not recording or writing or doing anything like that, I'm gonna be like, "Oh, okay, let me catch these Pokemon in this region." Okay, I got them all. Let me let me level up. Let me uh fight. Um, I wonder though if when you uh you show uh Pokeball, um, and you take it on the go with your Pokemon, do you also level up that way too? Mm-hmm. It's the same. It's the same as Pokemon Go, where like. That, that, uh, whatever that thing is that came out last year for it, the, uh, uh Poke Walker or whatever. Yeah. You can store a Pokemon in there and walk it, or, like, a lot of people, like, 
would store Pokemon in there and you could walk it and that would make it gain experience as well. Uh, yeah. So I think this does the same type of thing, but I'm not 100% sure how it works. Uh, I haven't played Pokemon Go in a long time. I only played it for like a week and a half just because it was interesting, but it's not like a great game by any stretch. Uh, I think it's cool though, because like you can have the Pokeball like sitting on your desk and it will make sounds and rumble and stuff because yes. it'll have a Pokemon in it. Uh, I think that, uh, it's a cool little accessory. Uh, the one thing is though, everyone comes with Mew, but does that mean that's the only way you can get Mew? I think so. Which is kind of, I don't know. Whatever. Well, don't get. I I think in the original Pokemon that you fought Mewtwo, you never you never came across Mew. So right. Um, I I think it's I think it's cool. It's a nice bonus for people who are picking up the Poke uh the Poke Plus, or or the Poke Ball. Uh, definitely with me. I think with my upcoming job that. Because I'll be doing a lot of walking, having that on me to level up my Pokemon would just do just wonders for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially if I catch uh, the fish that uh, everybody don't care for. Magikarp. Uh, Magikarp. Uh, if my walking makes him level up quick so he could uh, evolve, <laughs> uh, I- I'll be happy with that. Yeah. Uh, with that said, like I, I like how you can have like your companion pokemon and your Mm -hmm. another pokemon follow you like they're showing they were showing today on treehouse uh pikachu was riding on your shoulder and eevee rides on your head but they were playing pikachu and pikachu was like chilling on your shoulder and then they had a charmander just walking behind him and like it was cool because they were describing different techniques of the game where like there's going to be like you, you may find a small Charizard who's faster and can evade, like moves more, but he's not as strong. Or you can find this big Charizard or Charmander. Sorry, did I say Charizard? I meant Charmander. And like he, his moves will be more powerful because he's bigger, but he's not as fast, so he can't evade quick enough. And like I thought that was a yeah. really cool kind of switch up to the mechanics because like that's not really something you think about. Oh. Pokemon are probably different sizes as well, you know? And so, like, yeah. I think that's cool that their stats in the game vary on their size, not just their type or what which Pokemon they are. Um, so I thought that was really, really cool, that you could have, like, this really small Charmander who's really fast and can evade every attack, but it takes longer to uh, use their moves and, and does less damage. Or you could just have this giant Charmander that, like has all these huge like moves and stuff but can't can't dodge for crap yeah yeah that... I, I... Oh, oh go ahead Corey. oh i was just gonna say it like it reminds me of when uh like uh in in the original run of the anime like ash ash was uh using pikachu against raichu and raichu was so much bigger and then they had to figure out how to take down this big strong raichu and like pikachu had to learn all these quick moves like quick attack and yeah and, and stuff i thought that was cool kind of reminded me of I that love, i love raichu i i actually uh evolved my pikachu to raichu i i never kept them uh as the say just yeah. like you going you're going to evolve <laughs> yeah well in yellow like your your original pikachu would not let you evolve him but like you could all you could do it in blue and in red and then trade a pikachu over and evolve it but uh, and that said, like another mechanic of the game is Pikachu or Eevee can't evolve in these games. You have to find more Eevee and more Pikachus to evolve them. Which is weird because Eevee. Uh, That's like the whole which, point of catching Eevee is to have like m- multiple versions. Multiple, yeah. <laughs> uh, but. But but I, I understand I, they're trying to keep them. You know, this is like your road dog, like your homie. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts on on Let's Go. Are you excited? Are you is this is this type of Pokemon game gonna excite you, or are you more excited um, for twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen? Um, I'm more excited for twenty nineteen, 
But like I said, I am going to pick this game up, um, and I'm getting the EV edition. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I'll probably end up getting them both. Like, uh, I'll probably get Pikachu later on, but I've used Pikachu enough in a lot of the Pokemon main games. So, um, and I don't really use Eevee that much. So, I'm going to give Eevee that fair shake. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm I'm kind of excited because this is, like, clearly the Pokemon we kind of grew up on. So, like, yes. it, it gets me excited to, like, go back in this world and explore it. And in a simpler way than, like, having to, like, Oh man, I gotta walk through this grass. I'm gonna fight like 47 Pidgeys again. You know, like that that gets me excited. That I can explore this world without having to like worry about random battles or anything, and I can kind of do it at my leisure. So, yes. Uh, anyways, what do you guys think about Pokemon? Let's go. Are you excited? Uh, remember, if you're watching on Twitch, we're continuing our live stream here, breaking down these games. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, stick around, subscribe. There's more videos on the way. If you're listening to this week's Nintendo Power Block. Stay tuned. Ed and I will be right back for more games. Bye, everybody.